What's up guys, Matt here with Galaxy Games 843. It's a Sunday evening. I've got nothing else going on tonight, so I'm gonna go get some inventory shopping done to fill up uh, this soda rack here. We're getting kind of low on a lot of things, as you can see. And I like to keep a lot of things in stock. So we're gonna go off and we're gonna go to a bunch of stores. We're gonna use the Flip app to find what sales are happening. And we're just gonna go shop and buy some more inventory. So come along on the journey with me. Let's roll. Alright, so check this out guys. I want to point out it's 5.52 p.m. on this Sunday evening and honestly, it feels like it's at least 9 p.m. Look how dark it is. It's, it's so dark. There's not a whole lot of people out right now. Um, we did have a big Christmas parade here uh, in our neighborhood. Well, not my neighborhood, but in our town today. So a lot of people are probably pretty done for the day and just wanting to go home. So I figure it's a good time for me to go out, hit some stores that I need to get the inventory at and whatnot. So let's go off to our first stop, which should be the Harris Teeter Grocery Store. Let's go there first. All right, so there's a lot of things going on for sale here at Harris Teeter. We're looking for different Pepsi products as well as Red Bull Blue. We want to see what the price is. We're going to buy our Snapples here too. So let's see what we do. All right, here's the soda aisle. What do we got here? We know that they've got Pepsi cans at 3.47 a 12 pack, and we've got Pepsi 16.9 ounce bottles buy to get to. So I know we need some of those. Let's go check those out first. So here we go, buy to get to on these. I know I need, let's see, what do I need? I need Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. So let's see, we've got Dr. Pepper over there and Mountain Dew right here buy two get two so let's grab two Mountain Dews then we'll grab two Dr. Pepper Here we go, so these are showing two for 11. So that's 5.50 a piece, which means it's less than $1.50 a can. I'm gonna buy a bunch of these. So I wonder if there's a limit. I'm just gonna buy a bunch. So that's 10. Should I just buy all 12? Just to buy all 12, why not?
Have a good one. I know the lighting's probably terrible, but we scored in there, guys. We got all those Red Bull Blues that I wasn't expecting for them to be on sale. They were, I think it was like, hold on, let me turn the light on. I think it was like, um, it was two for $11, which means $5.50 a pack and roughly $1.37 per can. We sell them for $2.50 a can, so we're going to make some money on that one for sure. But we got a lot of other stuff. We got some Snapple. We got some Pepsi 16.9 ounce. So we got some good stuff, but we still got more places to go. So let's move on to the next spot. All right, next up, we're at Dollar General. They supposedly have our orange sodas that we do in our laundromat location on sale. So we're gonna go check those out here next. Let's go inside. Looking for orange soda. Let's go check and see if they have orange soda in here. There's one orange. Let's grab that one now, right when we walk in. Let's see if we can find some more. We'll go back to the actual soda section and see what we can find. All right, that's not looking good. Cause you gotta buy three to get the deal. All right, we got one hiding back here. Let's grab that one. So now we got two. Canada Dry A and W. Well, you know what? Let's grab an A and W then, since we can't find our third. We'll grab this. We can use this. So these three should be. It says $11 after digital coupon. I don't know how you get the digital coupon though, so it might be 12. But must purchase three. All right, let's go check out. So look at this, I found some more hiding up here. I'm gonna put this in the old switcheroo. So I want three of these. There we go, we got three. Now let's go check out. All right, score. So we got three of the orange. The lighting is probably terrible right now, but I figure we try, we'll try these glasses out and see how the lighting works in the kind of darker areas. So let's throw these right here in the back of the vending SUV. So far, haul's going pretty good. All right, let's move on to the next spot. All right, just leaving Dollar General, we got our orange soda. Now we're gonna go across the street to Walgreens and try to pick up some more Pepsi products. I think they're three for $10.99 uh, for the Pepsi 12 pack. So we're gonna go over there. I think we need Mountain Dew, some Dr. Pepper. I think just those two. So we're gonna go see what they have and maybe buy some. Let's run over there next. All right, we're looking for Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper cans here. Sometimes you can find it right inside, but it doesn't look like they're going to be up front today. So let's go look around. Well, it doesn't look like we're having any, we're gonna have any luck here today. We'll check a few more spots. All right, I've checked the whole store. There are no Pepsi 12 packs here, so that sale obviously is a good one, and we got beat. Let's move on to the next store. Actually, there's some Mountain Dew up here. All right, let's grab some of that. 
We'll grab those three Mountain Dew 12 packs there. Didn't even see those when we walked in. What's the date on that? So we got the Mountain Dew, but no Dr. Pepper here. We'll have to keep looking for that in another spot. So I'm gonna load this up next. And then we're off to our next spot. Starting to get full back here. Let's go buy more. All right, next spot is Family Dollar. Now here they have Coca-Cola 16.9 ounce bottles on sale. So we'll put that up on the screen here too. Um, we're also gonna check to see if they have the grape soda in 12 ounce cans here, because I buy that here sometimes too when it's in stock. So let's go check it out. Hello. Got the loudest cart in the store. I always find the loud one. Okay, here's the Coke 16.9 ounce. I'm gonna go one Coke Zero. I'm gonna go two Sprites. And look, they have a couple Grape Vagos. Let's grab those two. Success, let's go check out. Loudest cart ever. All right, it is really full back here. So here's my grape. Got those. We got, we're pretty much good. However, if that Red Bull Blue sale is still going on, I think I might try the other Harris Teeter grocery store that we have in town. Buy them out too, because that's a great price. All right, there's everything there. Let's move on. All right, well that actually worked out pretty well. We now have pretty much everything we need except for more Dr. Pepper cans. So we are gonna to go to the other Harris Teeter in town. And while we're there, we're gonna see if they have the Red Bull Blue on sale too. If they do, we're gonna buy a bunch of it there too because the truck accessory shop buys that stuff like crazy and we wanna get the best price we can. So let's go off to that last, last spot and buy up whatever we can. Let's go now. All right guys, it's 6.53 p.m. There's some police activity on our way. We're on our way to that next stop. We've been going for about an hour and we've bought um, multiple things from multiple stores. We're just gonna go to that one last spot, the next Harris Teeter supermarket, to see if we can find more uh, Red Bull Blue and of course get some uh, Dr. Pepper cans. So we're on our way. We're almost there. Let's go hit it.
system processing. Thank you guys so much for coming along shopping with me. We got a lot of great deals in this video. As you saw, our best deal though was all those Red Bull Blues. Sadly, the second Harris Teeter grocery store did not have any Red Bull Blue. As you saw, we looked at the Red Bull section. They had everything but Red Bull Blue, of course. And of course, the sale was still going on there too. But you can't win them all. We did a great job. We scored a bunch of Red Bull Blue for, I think it was like $1.37 per can. So that's going to work out great at the truck accessory shop. Right afterwards, uh, Sam's Club did get them back in stock online too. So I just placed a big order with them. So I'm going to get a ton more and have a ton more Red Bull Blue in stock. Um, so again, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this is just kind of some of the behind the scenes stuff when when running a vending business. You got to go shopping. You got to buy inventory. You got to you know pack it, store it, do all that stuff. So I kind of like to show some of the other things, not just going and visiting machines and collecting money. Kind of some of the behind the scenes, non-passive stuff. Because guys, full line vending is not a passive income. As you can see, there's a lot of work that goes into it behind the scenes. So again, I'm going to keep showing bonus videos like this. I'm going to keep showing what it's like to own a vending machine business. Hope you guys enjoyed this type of video. If you do, make sure you give us a comment down below and let us know that we did a good job. Or make sure you give us a thumbs up to like the video. Also, of course, subscribe to Galaxy Games 843 here on YouTube. Anyway, we're going to wrap it up right here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. This is Matt with Galaxy Games 843. We'll see you next time.